Hi guys, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, it's If it's your first time here, my name is Elizabeth and you are watching The Liz Dot Show. So I decided to do a video on mental health. Um, we're in January. It's been almost one year since the COVID-19 pandemic and it's not always been easy. Everyone, everyone had their ups everyone had their downs okay we all had them some of you guys are in confinement here in montreal um there is a curfew at 8 p.m and most stores are closed so only essential stores are open and it's been hard i know some people are dealing with depression i know some people anxiety i mean sometimes you don't even realize you're anxious you're stressed and i mean you need to be able even when you you're working you're studying you need to be able to take care of your mental health and so guys i'm not a um psychologist or anything like that but i wanted to share you guys um tips that really help me um, with my mental health during just not being able to see my friends or if you live alone i think those tricks could help you so let's get into it okay so my first tip is meditating guys meditating sometimes I would just start in my day without meditation and it would be hectic I would not feel well I would be like I don't understand what's going on with me <laughs> it's like I'm forgetting what all of this is supposed to be about oh I did not meditate meditation i didn't meditate that morning so i um read the bible um so what i do i have some verses uh, depending on the situation that i am depending on how i want to feel i mean there are so many verses um you can have verses if you need strength you can have verses for strength if you need a uh, peace verses for peace if you are dealing with depression there are uh, there are verses if you're dealing with depression if you need joy if if you just lost someone there is verses for everything guys i'm telling you when you read i don't know the bible i just read something that told me like god is with me like you feel it i feel it i believe in it and so it's manifesting that's how i i see it and so every time i i'm feeling down and i just read a verse, I write on it, how I'm feeling on it. I take strength in God's word. Seriously, guys, ugh, could not. I cannot just, I don't think I could have made it without God's word during the confinement, during this pandemic. I mean, gladly I did not have a phase of depression like during the last year, guys. This is like a miracle, so I mean, if if you need strength go and go take a verse go take a verse just to read you don't need to be christian to read the bible you can read and you can be like dang okay 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 you know okay second tip eat well i mean it's basic you need to eat well you can't eat chocolates and candies and chips every single day every single week and be like uh you're gonna feel good no 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 it doesn't work like that i think um i think during december i had that kind of phase because we were receiving so much chocolates at home and there was like like oh my gosh we love your family let, let's just buy you like a big box of uh, chocolate and oh here's another box of chocolates and oh <laughs> oh oh here's another box of chips I mean we had it all we had it all and I was like watching Netflix in my bed eating and eating and eating and eating and eating honey 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 first of all you take some weight you do not feel well you're not gonna be at your top you're not gonna want to get up and do something no no no, no. it was chilling mode all day be careful of what you're eating maybe that's not your example but you know you know yourself you know um i need to be careful with this but i mean have yourself a treat but don't do not do not do not do too much do not do too much 
you know what you can bear, okay? Okay? Nice. This one I really like. Um, have some friends around you that can uplift you. Have some friends, have a community, have some people around you. Maybe it's one friend. At least have one friend, one person. Have someone to help you. I'm feeling down. Let me just call this person real quick, real quick. You have five minutes with this person, two minutes with this person, and this person can just, boom, uplift your spirit. Your friends cannot all be depressive. That, that's gonna make you depressive. No! Get you some people that are hyped, that are motivated in life, that has some goals, that, I mean, even if they don't, they don't have a, a full career planned, at least they wanna do something, they, they, I mean, they're motivated. Also, have someone um, that's more personal to you. Have either a spiritual guide, a psychologist, a mature friend. Uh, one of those three that you have, maybe it could be all three. Have people, one person, two person, two people, two person, well, whatever. <laughs> that you can actually talk to about your problems, talk to about your emotions. They are more mature than you, and they can give you some knowledge. Every time you get out of their presence, you're like, dang, thank you, God, for this person. So have an activity that you like to do um, outside of working, studying, and all of the above. Have an activity you like to do. I like, I like to read books. I love books. I love books. Have some activities that when you do them, you just feel peaceful. You can be drawing, it could be simple, it could be like something big, I don't know. Just have that one, minimum one activity that you do. When you do it, you feel better and you feel calm and you can calm yourself, okay? Nice. Another tip you can have is actually write down um, things that you're proud of yourself have things um, little things that you did in the last week last month last year read this list read it dang I did this I'm proud of myself for this that is going to, that is going to uplift you my friend that will uplift you you're gonna be like dang I am someone you are a someone okay believe it say it you are destined to greatness you are destined to greatness repeat repeat okay cool you repeated I hope you did if you can't find anything ask people around you hey what is something that I did to you that was good tell me and I will write it and so I have this last tip for you when you're struggling um, with I don't know I'm taking example of school because that's all there is for me right now so you have some readings to do you have some work to do but you decide Oh, I'm not gonna do it now. We've all done this. Don't lie. Do not lie. <laughs> so you did not do it. You get stressed because, oh, I should have done that. You feel uh, you're really anxious. You feel that there's nothing to be done. You feel like that it's over. There are situations that you can control your attitude towards it. Not everything, but there are things that you can control your attitude um, I was talking about this with one of my friends, Saskatchewan, and she told me like, okay, Elizabeth, she, we were like, we were actually, okay, just doing a little review on last semester, and I was like telling her what I, I wanted to do better this semester, and I realized that there are stuff that I didn't do or that I did, it's because of fear of telling someone, yo, I I messed up. And then I was feeling anxious in there. And then there was like a work that I needed to do. I should have had help before, but I didn't go get help because I thought it was too late. And she was like, okay, so what are some signs that you know you're gonna be anxious? Because my end result, if I know something's not gonna be right, I'm anxious. I get anxious and it's like really bad. And so, okay, what can you do to prevent anxiety? There are signs, you know? I, for myself, it's like, okay, so I procrastinated. That is a killer, okay? That is a killer. Guys, do not procrastinate. And then I will see 
that I have, for example, okay, I have a due date, like um, in three days. And I'm like, okay, I can do it later. No, don't do it later, do it now, okay? My lips are dry, sorry. So you could have little signs before you feel like the situation, you can get a grasp on it, okay? So there are signs that come. You identify those signs and you say, okay, what can I do to stop this sign? For example, if I'm anxious, I know that before getting anxious, I get stressed. And before getting stressed, I have that kind of urge to do something. So if I don't act on my urge, I will get stressed. And if I don't do something during my stress, I will then get anxious. And when I get anxious, I feel like there's nothing I can do. So you have signs like this, okay? When I pass this level, I know that I feel like there's nothing that can be done. I know it's a bit unclear, but if you write down what I say and you actually think about your situations and how sometimes um, you can get anxious or stressed, it's because there's something that could have been done, but you did not do it, okay? That's for me, but that's some tips that I wanted to share with you guys. If you have other suggestion, uh, sug su su suggestions, if you have other suggestions, <laughs> if you have other suggestions, um, put them down in the comments. And I hope you enjoy this video. Um, I just promptly decided to do a talk about mental health. And that's about it. If it's your first time here, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Okay, okay. My name was, uh, my name is, she ain't dead, babe. She ain't dead. My name is Elizabeth, and you. <laughs> Can I just do an outro that makes sense once, just once? My name is Elizabeth and you were watching the Liz.show. Peace.